Hello Amy, just wanted to give you a quick update uh, through this video as to uh, our progress at this point. We're off to a kind of a slow start, but this is an application that we've developed to be able to look at uh, the mathematics uh, visually. What you see here, of course, is a very simple green, a simple slope, and I uh, just wanted to show you that what we can do is rotate and uh, view this in, from different angles, and as we're rotating, you can see the, the matrices of rotation and transformation in the lower left-hand corner are changing. Those are little NMath routines, of course. Uh, what we want to get to, of course, is solving this differential equation of, of motion, of the movement of the ball. And you can see this one is uh, moving towards the pin and uh, slides on past. So I haven't given it enough velocity, it looks like. So what I can do is go in and change this to, uh, well, of course, I've done this many times, so I know the right number. And then when we try to solve this differential equation, we see that the ball goes in the hole. Now this is a very simple case, and uh, to get more complicated, we're doing the sort of up and down green that drives us crazy out there on the golf course. But uh, what we're eventually working towards is uh, uh, greens like this. Now this is one that we happen to find some data for. Let me move this in a little bit closer here, or move farther away rather, so that we can see more of it. So this is a golf course uh, green uh, from a golf course down in Australia and uh, you can see that it's a little more complicated but and by the way it's sort of over uh, over uh, drawn I mean we've, we're multiplying all the the heights by 10 to be able to to see the ridges and valleys uh, more easily but the point is what we need is a nice smooth differentiable function and so of course here we take the data and we fit the data with uh, in this case a polynomial function using nmath least squares routines and we can see right here the uh, how it fits. I can change the uh, to make sure we include the starting position of the ball and the flag. I'll change this to something like uh, one to sixteen and uh, one to twenty-four. And now I'll try that again. Fit it with a polynomial and seems to fit pr fairly well. We can uh, look at it in several dimensions or in 3D rather to see how well it fits the data and it does pretty good. Anyway, that's just an update as to the sorts of things that we're doing and uh, the progress that we've made so far and uh, there will be more later.